Hello, it is July 28th, 2016, and I'm here to give you a little garden tour and myself. Just kind of want to see how the garden looks today and compare it in a year, see how it looks next year. Um, someone had remarked about the hostas in a previous video, and yeah, the hostas are gigantic. <laughs> they all came with the place. And they've just gone crazy. I've split some of them, but just doesn't always seem to help. Okay, so this is kind of a white flowering hosta. I don't know the technical name for it. Here's your leaves have that white around them and green in the center with the purple flowers. And this will definitely have to be thinned out um, probably in the late fall when I've done it before. This is a hydrangea that came with the house and has not flowered <laughs> for us at all. So it's just kind of there for ornamental purposes, I guess. Here's this kind of ivy type stuff, which we get the grass popping through. There's a bleeding heart that looked really cool about a month ago. We've got another type of hosta back there that has our white flowers. Uh, fern back there. We've got daylilies through here. Now this used to be all daylilies, but as you can see there's a new fence back there, which happened after the new house went in um, and they broke our fence. So that finally happened. Here's a Rose of Sharon. I'll get a closer up on, a, on another one of these. And here is a gnarly apple tree, which has gotten bigger since we moved in. I pruned it uh, once or twice, and here's an apple. Um, however, as you can see, <laughs> got a worm there, and it got a worm on the other side. Oh, right there. There we go. So that one's toast, but I have, I'm leaving it on there just to say I've got one. Um, cause there were about five or six through here, but a, uh, squirrel got at them. Oh, we got one. There. You can see that one already has something on it. Alright, so can I come in here and look at the stargazer lily? This is a really cool flower that comes up once a year. Um, this one is probably want to say double the size of last year but I don't know and here's these guys which the bees love they're kind of dying out now they had their heyday um, like a month ago I want to say yeah, they, they're going but they'll pop up back in greater numbers next year and hopefully I'm sure the lilies will start popping back up um, and they also <clears throat> were much better about a month ago this is like probably the best looking one left. Right. Over here we've got our vine, but all the flowers came off of it in the last giant storm. But this is a vine there, purple flowers that pop up. Then here's the big rose of Sharon, Tabiscus. And the bees love this one. really cool flowers and just tons of them a lot of them haven't even popped yet as you can see in here those haven't popped you know you go you'll go through a whole season and sometimes some won't pop off and here's kind of some baby ones all the side which I want to keep this is kind of a weed type thing I don't even know what it is these are the peonies we've got Quite a few. They looked really good about a month ago, I want to say. Yeah, you can't really see where the flowers were, but not anymore. And this is a mulberry tree, which I had some this year, but unfortunately squirrels or something got at them, maybe birds. And this is also a mulberry. Now my neighbor used to have one right there, but they took it out. And I'd usually just clip a few of his branches because he <coughs> told me to trim his trees for him. And I eat the berries off of that. And we're coming to a dwarf blue spruce. 
Uh, this is supposed to get eight feet tall. I bought it when it was about, I want to say three. And it's grown quite a bit. In three years, probably maybe a foot and a half. I don't know. Here's some wild garlic and one of those chicks and hens. Some ornamental grass. These are fun, um, but you can trim them up a little more than I have. I've, I've trimmed this quite a bit, but it keeps going. We've got some ornamental grasses back there. Here's a uh, cherry tomato plant, which I've taken three tomatoes off so far, and they've been great. Then here, uh, my <laughs> son got a little crazy with the seeds. Um, he was helping me do it. And we had some beans, which we've eaten the beans off of there. They've been great. Peppers, we probably should have planted the pepper plants away after the beans started to get big. And I was, we were out of town this past weekend and the broccoli just bolted, but it kind of looks cool. And I actually want to see what those flowers look like. So I'm just going to leave it. When we get into the peas, these were amazing this year. Sweet peas and they just kind of grew up the uh, basket there and we were pulling those for a while which leads us into the my favorite the horseradish well, there's <coughs> cardboard underneath on each side here to kind of like limit where this can go but the horseradish just basically does what it wants and i've actually transplanted some over here for my friends who want some so they can take some uh in a little while. Over here we've got some tomato plants. We've got uh, the beef steaks, cherry, Roma, this yellow type tomato I put in, but I don't know which one it'll be. We'll find out. These guys are starting to grow real good now. Then back here we've got zucchini and cucumber I've got one good one I know here we are down there that's a few inches long better tomatoes and yes I know I planted a little too close together but that's because I got a flat you kind of run out of space real easy so here's the back of the horseradish in this bucket I've had some peppers going and they've done really well. I've probably taken three or four peppers off of that one. There's some other buckets that haven't done well. <laughs> and this is what's called a hops vine for beer. This is Cascade hops in this one. And you can see it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's starting to get in the tree, but I should have trimmed that up a little bit. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. And those are the actual hops that you use to brew beer. But there's a bunch of other little ones that you can see over here. They're pretty cool. All right. Next here. I've got some just junky elm trees right here, but they're kind of like a block. <laughs> so you don't see your neighbors too much. We've got a little blueberry and a strawberry. We got strawberries in there. Uh, we've eaten about three strawberries off. Oh, there's some going. We've eaten probably three of them off there. They've been good, but wish there were more. <laughs> this is a raspberry. You can see the berries right here will probably go, and then there. Hopefully it will be more in here soon. Yeah, there's some right there. These are Brussels sprouts. Once again, I put them way close, too close together. Some peppers. More Brussels sprouts. I'm going to have to take this fencing off this weekend because I underestimated how big these things would be. Here's the asparagus. Now you're going to say, wait, that looks like dill. No. The asparagus have gone to bolt. I we ate probably the first 15, 20 Brussels or uh, asparagus that came up, but then after that we let it go to bolt. So it'll get bigger and stronger for next year. This is only the I think third year we've had it, and they generally say three years. That's all you get. So 
Here's a uh, tomato plant and another one. Some celery that I don't know what I'm doing with. Here's another tomato plant. And here's a couple pepper plants. We've had a couple peppers off of those. And I think we've got broccoli over here. I'm going to have to pull that one. <laughs> I actually want to eat some this time and not let it go. And the zucchini. Over here we've got chives, but a big weed started growing through there. And oregano. I've got to do some weeding. And if you can see, it's just recently rained and it's rained a lot lately, so I haven't had a lot of time to do this. <clears throat> Here's some hostas. And some other trees just kind of block in there. This is called a uh, purple smoke tree. Pretty cool. This thing's grown pretty fast. At least three, four feet a year, it seems like. These are some of the transplanted grasses, which haven't grown as high, probably due to the lack of sunlight. Here's our uh, crab apple tree. That's pretty tall over here. This is a uh, Alberta dwarf spruce. Planted these. Um, they've grown probably five, six inches a year. They are dwarf, so they only are supposed to get eight to ten feet tall, I believe. More of them. Here's a uh, arborvitae. It's grown probably a foot a year. And some more. To our little pine here. It's a little pine um, from uh, our family cottage that I snagged because it was under power lines and they would clip it. If, as soon as it got a couple feet tall anyway the power company comes through to do that every once in a while so figured hey might as well give him a good home so <laughs> here's what he looks like now and more hostas that I need to thin yeah I got another little horseradish colony over there here's the uh, basil which has been great this year I've been <laughs> trying to keep it down a little bit so it goes outwards which it's done a good at. We pulled some peppers off of here that have been good. Bells. The, the smaller ones are uh, I think uh, cayenne pepper maybe or possibly habanero. Then here's the uh, yellow sweet pepper type banana pepper if you want to call it that. They're awesome. Got a bunch of those. Here's a hydrangea. And some ferns. This is called a ligularia. It uh, just has these yellow flowers. They looked a lot nicer about three weeks ago. But the bumblebees will get all up on that and love it. Some more ferns. Another ligularia chicken hens. This is a little uh, hydrangea that we're going to move at the end of this year and a bigger one that's been here. This is a nice purple. It's got a couple other ones but they... And this is just like a little pot. We put flowers in. And here we've got a, another hydrangea but this one we planted. Cool rock. It's got like flex in there. Some more flowers and the big white uh, hosta. We've got some more flowers up here. Some baskets. We got Costco. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting some uh, tomatoes. So.